Hi guys, and today's video I'm going to show you the complete PAL set of the Dreamcast collection. Um, it's been an amazing two years. It's been hard, but it's finally done. I wasn't expecting it to be complete before Christmas, to be open and honest with you, but things happen, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm absolutely over the moon that I've done it. You know, I've just, you know, if I could do it again, I would. I would do it again. But I'm not going to. <laughs> right, so up first we have, this is the, the brand new Samba de Amigo. I'm keeping this one up here because I don't want it to get damaged in any way. I'm going to get, um, what do you call it, a case made for it. So, out of Perspect plastic or, or whatever, I don't know, you know, I'm going to have a look into it. I'm going to make it myself because I think it'll be too expensive, you know, so... I've got all the tools and that there to, to make one for it, so, yep, yeah, so, and then we'll go over to the shelf. I decided to put the shelves here. I put these up last week, and, yeah, I think I made the right decision because I had one big shelf lined up against there, and it, it didn't look right, so I've kept it here, and... This is just some of the accessories, you know, controllers, uh, the mouse, uh, race controllers, and keyboard and visual memory units. And there's another Samba de Amigo box set that you've seen in my unboxing one. So, and rumble packs. Um, up here, we have a Siemens, which is hiding in there. So, I'll need to sort that one out. We've got the Shenways. You know, um, I replaced them. If you watched in my first video, I did have a set of them and they were picked up in a bundle. But um, the discs were fine. The discs were absolutely mint. Um, but I wasn't happy with the cardboard sleeves. So I'm going to order two uh, plastic cardboard protectors for them. I've spotted them on eBay, but I kind of think they're a bit pricey. They're like six quid each, So, but it's one of them, isn't it? Um, another two controllers, and there's an unused Dreamcast. Um, more controllers, Dreamcast Res, and Planet Ring box set. That's brand new as well. Um, and here we have the game sorted out. So up here, this is just more visual memory units. These are American ones. So, um, so I've actually. Went through these in alphabetical order. Obviously, I've got the Gunboard and Cannon Spike 2 out on display, so they're part of that. Okay. Then up here, we have the visual memory unit boxes again. There's one that is empty, so that's just a, a spare box, and one's new. And I've took, sorry, I've took these out, or three of these to have them out on display, so. Yep, so... Here's all the games, guys. Um, I will be playing these. These are not just to have. I will be playing these games. Not every single game, but I will be spending time going through them and reviewing the, the crap ones and the good ones. I mean, I've already like went through a couple of them. Well, I'd say not more than a couple. A good few of them because out of the whole collection, I, I must have had to... Repair, I'd say, about 40, 45 discs with the JFJ. So, I can't complain with that. So, I'm really, really chuffed at that. So, continuing over to the games. So, you'll have noticed that in my previous video that, you know, some things have been changed around. The Evil Twin was on one of the steel book stands, which it's back up there, so... Yep, and my Mortal Kombat Gold's on, on the shelves as well now, so I'm going to be finding a replacement to put up on my MK Shrine. Um, so we go down. So I put the Power Stones here. And, yeah, it's just so that I know where all the games are, you know. Like, I didn't want to just put the rarities with the rarities, you know. So I know where every single game is now, so it's I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, the Sega Bass Fishing box set, um, and there's more games. The only problem that I had, you'll see that I've got Zombie Revenge and WF Rumble. You know, I ran out of room, but 
they should be they should be over at the last shelf but I know that they're there so it's not a biggie to me so you see what I mean because I've got the double U sitting up there so I didn't have room to put them up so it's fine um, then down here we've got the SCART cable and an arcade stick and if I go behind these you'll notice that I put my backup cases back there all wrapped up you know so just in case so keep them there so used and there we have the house of the dead 2 that's a box set the game isn't in there it's on the shelf so i'm not one of these ones that are oh i'm going to take out the box yet, the the box and replace it in the box because you know it's not complete i'm not like that um and then we have another arcade stick and down here, this is, if you remember, that in my previous video I opened up all the Metropolis Street Racers and the, the Choo Choo Rockets. These are just bits and bobs that I picked up in piles that I still need to get rid of. So, I'm not going to do it now. I, I, think I'm, I think I'm just going to list a whole lot, you know, just to get rid of it. I want this all... Nice and clean, you know, because I've got my PlayStation 3 games there as well, you know, so I, w I want to get, this is just basically my, my game and shelving, so, um, I've actually lost one of my rumble packs, so I need to look for that, I'm sure I had four of them, or I've maybe opened one and not realised, so, I did have four of them, so I'll have to look around and see if I can find that, or it might be in a control pad. But that's what I want to do, as you can see, it isn't, it isn't neat enough, it's not neat enough by a long shot, you know what I'm like, so, um, yeah, so, up then down here, this is just like more games than that, you know, I haven't got very many like Xbox 360 games, but, you know, anyway, we're not here to talk about Xbox 360, um, I'd just like to say a big massive thank you to you all, you know, I know there's only like a few comments from a few of you, you know, but it's it's really kept me going with the collection. You know, if I didn't have the, the few people that have left a comment, and as I said in my previous vi video with uh, Retro Reclaimer, you know, giving me a shout out, um, that was just fantastic, you know. I just feel a bit stupid that I only noticed it like, the other week. So, yeah, um, big shout out to him as, as well. You know, check his channel. You know, he, he doesn't just like... Uh, Click games for uh, Dreamcast and stuff like that. He's more into like Xbox 360 and um, PlayStation 1 games. But as I said in my previous video, he's trying to build his Dreamcast collection up. So and that's it, guys. And what I'm going to do is I, I said I would do a follow up to my MK Shrine. So I'll do that now because I won't have time like now. Um, to do any more videos because Christmas round the corner so um, this will be my last video till after Christmas and I'll show you the, the MK Shrine so yeah Mortal Kombat Gold was up there it's it's on the shelf now with all the Dreamcast games so there, there's where I put the the Mortal Kombat Ultimate you know the collector's edition so that's it guys um, I just want to say I hope you all have a lovely Christmas and all the best for the new year. Um, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And guys, please stay safe over Christmas, you know. Um, I just wanted to add, like, um, it's been hard for everyone, you know. It really has, you know. But um, don't, don't take any chances just for... Christmas Day, you know, it's hard for people not being able to visit the families and stuff like that. Don't take the chance, guys. It's not worth it. Okay? Um anyway guys, thank you so much and I'll catch you after I'll catch you in 2021. Okay guys, bye.